This is Social Buzz TV. What is happening, everybody? Sebastian Russ on location for Social Buzz TV. Hey, this is the very first Foodie Buzz segment that we're rolling out. We do a lot of reviews of food here in Miami and everywhere my travels take me. But we're really starting to get focused on this whole foodie culture and creating buzz all around it. Today, we've teamed up with our friends here at Midtown Miami Magazine uh, to check out a brand new spot here in Midtown. Riviera Pocosiera Italiana. I know my accent might be a little off, but hey, this is a great spot. They got some unique things pertaining to focaccia bread. Get it all right here. We're gonna run in right now and see what's going on. Come on. Hey, so we are right in the mix here. This brand new spot here in Midtown Miami. It's such a growing culture, especially foodie culture here. It's great to be with you guys. We're with owner uh, Fabio. Fabio. Nice to meet you. And Paolo. And manager Paolo. Now, this place is extremely unique for a couple of reasons. Why don't you tell us one of them? It's unique because uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not only an Italian restaurant, but it's uh, a Ligurian restaurant. And all the dishes that we propose are from the Ligurian cuisine and tradition, uh, respecting the original uh, recipes. And also we have uh, some dishes, some dishes that uh, you cannot find uh, in anywhere else and tell us more about that dish i'm excited to try it so tell us okay. more about that because okay. you can only find it one almost one place really yeah that's focaccia di reco that is very difficult to explain it's better to see and to eat focaccia di reco exactly <laughs> it's I'm totally easier to eat than to say so what's so unique and special about it where is it based out of and um, why did you decide to, to, to run with it here in the states uh, you know, first of all, because I like Miami very well, very much, and uh, we have a lot of friends here, and uh, it contributes to the international flair. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> I heard something about the pesto and the red sauce too. Oh yeah, yeah. Our pesto is very good. It's just really good. Uh, we have somebody growing the basil for us in Central Florida, our specification. And um, it's, a lot of people come here, they eat it and they're like, they cannot have a bag what in it. So we're doing something good. And talking about the focaccia di Reco as well, the main ingredient is the stracchino cheese that goes inside. And we air fry that from Italy weekly. That's right, flying the cheese in weekly, yeah. paying 20 bucks a pop for the basil. You know it's good stuff, you know they're focused on quality. Guys, I think you've said enough. My stomach's growling, I'm hungry. I want to get right down into this menu. Let's go good. check it out. Let's Thanks ride. for having us. Thank you. Okay. Come on. So, we talked about it. This is the famous pesto sauce, mandili. It's an anchor-chief type of pasta with our unique and exceptional pesto sauce. We got pasta, and we got pesto, and we yeah. got an appetite. You need to stay tuned. This looks amazing. Enjoy. Hey, real quick, the pesto is off the charts. Wasn't kidding about the pesto and the basil. That's why they paid 20 bucks a bundle for the basil. Make sure you try the pesto. Are we clear? Okay. Here we go. As you can see, it's uh, very difficult to explain uh, in words. I mean, it's much better to see and to try it. You should just nickname it delicious. <laughs> I think it is. So break it down for us real quick. We had to just, if you had to explain it to a five-year-old. It's not easy. Uh, as Paolo told before, the, the secret is the cheese. It's a stracchino cheese. It's a fresh Italian cheese. That you guys fly in. Absolutely, because the shell life of this, uh, this cheese is just 15 days. So there is no other way to, to, to transport this, uh, this cheese. And then, you know, the secret is the, the dough. That must be like this. Okay, so but that is a secret that we cannot, of course... Uh... Of course, you can't reveal everything, <laughs> my goodness. So we've got uh, a freshly baked bread, almost pastry, um, with this incredible cheese that's flown in. It's got a shelf life of 15 days. Uh, there's no freezing this stuff or storing this stuff, so it's the real deal. All right, enough talking about this deliciousness. We're gonna dig in right now, but um, I'm gonna give you some feedback. I can guarantee you that. On the lighter side, now we have a Porto Riviera, that is imported uh, European octopus, poached, and then uh, dressed with uh, cherry tomato, tajasca olives, that are indigenous of the Ligurian region, these black olives, celery, diced potato. So we talked very light, very, very good. 
looks incredible. So you talked a lot about the focaccia, which was incredible. We just had that. Uh, lots of bread, lots of pasta. You think, oh my goodness, carb city. But this place isn't just about carbs. No, no, you've got no, light no. dishes like this. You've got salads. I got tuna. I got steaks. I got snapper. I got cod. Grass-fed steak. So grass-fed. We have a chicken at lunch. It's an all-natural chicken from the Springer Farm in North Carolina. The Thank steak you. is uh, from Uruguay and is grass-fed, 100% and no antibiotics, no hormones. So everything is very fresh, very cooked to order. Uh, everything is from scratch. But the only thing that we open is a can of the. The San Marzano tomato from Italy to do the sauce, well, that's it. Everything else is fresh, cut, cooked on premises. We'll, we'll, we'll let the can of tomatoes slide because I'm sure they're still incredible. I'm going to dig right into this hey, octopus, guys. man. Thanks, buddy. Hey, stay tuned. Nothing. I open that bowl. This is the pasta for the Bereco, the focaccia. So this is what happened. Yeah. We just had it. It was absolutely yeah. one of a kind and unbelievable. So the focaccia, the Bereco, this is what happens and how it all comes together. It's a very delicate process, as you see, rolling the dough out. Special process there. This isn't Pillsbury out of a can. This is real deal, handmade dough. And then of course the cheese that's flown in as well is then added and they have their own special way of preparing everything. And I can say firsthand that uh, this is fantastic. I'd love to compare it to someone. I'd love to say it's almost like a uh, like a pizza or a, or a light pastry. Um, maybe if you had to imagine, it would be something comparable to that, but one of a kind to say the least. So. Awesome stuff, great working. Thank uh, I'm gonna so be much. back for more. Now, it doesn't just come with cheese. You can get uh, pesto, you can get uh, prosciutto, you can get uh, uh, red sauce. Uh, you could probably throw an eggplant with some red sauce and a little bit of prosciutto on top if you really wanted to. So you can get creative, kind of think of the pizza mentality, but very, very different. Focaccia de Reco. So, this is something that eventually you're a little bit more familiar. This is a spaghetti with pomodoro. So it's a San Marzano, imported San Marzano tomato sauce, made here in house. And these are thick spaghetti, homemade here as well. Everything. And everything looks homemade. Um, yep. Friends, this is not SpaghettiOs. This is not from a can. It's all handmade Italiano. They're known for their red sauce too. So we got focaccia bread. We've got pesto. Remember that $20 a bundle for the basil there? And this incredible pasta red sauce. There's always got to be a good, good red sauce, especially if it's handmade. A little Parmigiano de Reganano in there. Did I say that right? Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. See, we're learning. We're learning the correct pronunciations too. Let's cut that camera and dig into this pasta. Huh? And just like that, the very first episode of Foodie Buzz on Social Buzz TV is a wrap. This place is fantastic. It's right here in the shops of Midtown. All kinds of brand new spots opening up. If you want some authentic, one of a kind Italian foods, and mention Social Buzz. Talk to Powell, the manager, tell him Sebastian sent you and your first glass of vino is on me. Actually, it's on Paolo. Hey, we'll see you real soon. Stay tuned, lots of foodie buzz happening. This is Social Buzz TV.